Jennifer McIntosh, bronze medal around your neck. Just talk us through that. How does it feel? Oh, it's just absolutely fantastic. I can't, can't describe it. Like, really relieved in some ways, but also just so excited and so happy. You're quite emotional out there. Just tell us what it means to you. Oh, it means the world, you know, and I think the thing that really got me today was my mum presenting me the medal. That, that was uh, right in the feels. <laughs> it was a bit of a shock. Kind of surprised me with that, but it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so for people that don't know, it's quite a family affair, isn't it? So just talk us through who in your family is involved <laughs> in the shooting world. It, well, we haven't got too long. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so my mum's won four Commonwealth Games medals, including a gold in 1994. Um, my dad is team manager here with Team Scotland, and he's also the head British rifle coach with British shooting. Um, and my little sister is also competing for Team Scotland here at the Commonwealth Games. And how proud are you just to walk off at that range with that medal? Oh, absolutely fantastic. I just, oh, it's just amazing. I'm just so happy, so happy. Obviously, London 2012, a bit of a disappointment for you. Is this something that you strive towards, obviously, in your home country? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this was really the only thing that kept me going after London at times was just the thought of coming here and being able to hopefully win medals and it's just so so great that it's actually all that hard work's paid off. You can't celebrate too much tonight, you've got another one tomorrow, is that something you're eyeing now? Yeah absolutely, really looking forward to tomorrow, um, it's probably my favourite and maybe one of my strongest events so I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth into that tomorrow. Just talk us through what it's like representing Scotland, obviously you're normally Team GB, is it slightly different? I think it is slightly different, you know, the, the Scottish team is very, like, it's, because it's a, quite a lot smaller, it's really close-knit, even though this is our biggest team that we've ever sent to the Commonwealth Games. Um, you know, it's a really close-knit, like a family unit almost, um, and that's, that's just really nice and really special. And what's it like competing against on, some people that are normally on your team? Yeah, it's kind of weird, actually, because you're kind of like, I want to cheer you, but at the same time, I can't. <laughs> so, no, it's good. I mean, and we do get behind each other, you know. Like, the other day, I was so happy to see Dan Rivers win a medal and then Ken Parr earlier today. Um, it was really great to see that for them, really pleased for them. So, what's next for you, then? Well, competing tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> competing tomorrow, <laughs> and then um, I guess I get a wee bit of a rest after the Games and then get back into training for World Championships in September. And eventually, I am Rio. Surely you've got a bit of confidence now. Yeah, hopefully. I think I'm um, definitely looking up forward towards Rio um, and just start working at hopefully trying to win a quota place in the next, next year or so.